There, Daly, in deputy's two minutes. Thanks, Ciarán Corla. Um, there's no doubt that this report on refugees is a devastating indictment of current international policy and state of play that one person every four seconds is being displaced. It means men, women, children, families uprooted from their own communities. And I think the report gives some very good information in a sense that contrary to the myths that's put out in the West about an invasion of refugees from these war and torn countries, most refugees end up living in bordering countries in other developing impoverished countries where the struggle for life uh, becomes even more difficult. And actually, out of the top 10 host countries, only one EU nation, Germany, is uh, involved in that. The key issue here is that 55% of refugees come from war-torn countries. So we can directly say that uh, international foreign affairs policy is directly linked to this displacement of people. So we have to look at that policy. We have to look at the fact that Syria was the country which had the biggest leap in refugees. And what is the international community doing about that? It's decided to arm the opposition, which means that there will be even more refugees while the peace talks are delayed uh, and people don't sit around to find a solution. The Tánaiste is on record as saying that he is deeply concerned about the indiscriminate use of drones, contrary to international law, and the amount of civilians killed in the process. But in the same answer to me yesterday, he says he no sees no prospect of an agreement on a ban. I want to know what this government is going to do to help these countries which are the victims of conflict and victims of poor international foreign policy to make a stand for diplomacy and against this type of barbaric activity that sees so many people driven out of their homes. Thanks, Deputy. Deputy.